Welcome to Dave Dive Draws. Will Tinky be with him? We don't know. <laughs> no, nah, he's not here, mate. <laughs> Dink, see this? See that what on my lip? Done to yourself. Doing a that fight. Was I, I was taking the saddle off Dinky and I flicked the stirrup over and it clipped me on the lip. So, oh, uh, that would have hurt. Oh, well, it woke me up anyway. <laughs> Put it that way. <laughs> Yeah, no more taking saddles off horses while you're asleep. No more. Yes, yes, not to be advised. All right, tonight, today, um, I at the end of lo last week, I said I would. Um, I was thinking, I wasn't sure what I was going to draw, but I thought suggested maybe a um, Joe Cubitt. I'm a fan of Joe Cubitt's work, and um, he's got uh, this. Uh, he oh. Enemy Ace is oh, one cool. of his comics that he worked on. Yep. Um, he worked on that for a long time. And there's a panel in here that I really like. Uh, I thought it might be a nice one to draw. So I'll just change my camera mm -hmm. over and we can have a look at that. There we are. Oh, yeah, this is it here. Uh, this one down the bottom here. Where you've got this Lovely. big face. A lot of depth in this because you you got the pilot's face here. goes back along the fuselage of the plane to the tail. Uh, the tail plane there and the tail fin. I'm not sure if they're the exact words. And then behind that you've got four more aircraft. So there's a lot of depth in this panel so i thought just that might be a fun one to um have a go at drawing you don't like picking the easy ones do you <laughs> so if i can put that somewhere use it as reference mm -hmm. and see how we go at um drawing that so uh I've, I've got what i think is roughly the um size of that panel sort of nearly marked out here so i'll just put some i'll just put up in. the uh kerry said about your um horsing wound yes um, hope you feel better soon yeah thanks kerry and jackie <laughs> has come in with a sausage sizzle and day <laughs> thank we you know who that is without even asking don't we yep G'day, Jackie. And you found G'day, a place yeah. on Facebook that actually puts your comments up. Nice. Yeah. I yeah, noticed yeah. there are certain places where it doesn't come up in here, so oh, I never right. see them. And I was going through my Facebook earlier today and went, hey, there's a whole bunch of comments here I never saw. So, yeah. yeah. My personal page, which this doesn't go to, but my other videos do, um, yeah. won't display my oh. um, the, the comments because it's a private, um, um, what do you call it? profile oh okay only friends can see it so it can't and um stream yard's not my friend that's <laughs> not your friend <laughs> that's good oh jackie's Jackie. saying love you blokes love you too, <laughs> good on you, good man. yeah love that guy love that guy yeah <laughs> we got to get you back on drink and draw jackie Yeah, it's been a while since he's been on, I think, isn't it? Well, it's been a while since we, we haven't done much this year, so that's why or yeah. this last the last half of the year. Hmm. We, we've only got two shows left for the year. Oh, wow. Because then there's the December break. Yeah, right. The Christmas break. So yeah. we've got one, unless unless we organise to do another one in December, but my understanding is we're, we're not, so I could be wrong. Yeah. He ran into Quick in Adelaide. Said the oh, same thing. Who Jackie did? Yeah, Jackie did. Yeah, I said that we got to get back on the show. Yeah, agreed. I agree with Quick on that one. I will talk to you, Jackie, after the show. We'll all know something. But yeah, so um, we've got this week's, and then the next one is the first of December. The fortnight from next this week's is first of December. And then after that, the plan was to have December off and then come back in January. Oh, yeah. 
Yep. Uh, I had to just re um, getting the uh, trying to get these planes in the background in the right spot. Oh, here. Yeah. No, that's cool. You can't see. I love how you always do these from scratch, man. It's so cool. Mm. Yeah, it's about there like that. I'm just going to because um, I only put a thing up about an hour ago. I might remind people that this show is on. Yeah, I put um, I, I advertised in Melbourne Comic Creators and oh, cool, um, Sydney uh, Comic Guild. Um, so, I'm not sure if anyone saw it, sees it or reacts to it. Um, I don't know if I gave them the right link, though. I hope I did. <laughs> hopefully, you didn't, hopefully, you didn't give them the link to come in here. We're about to have a lot of um, special guests. Ah, <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah, that's right. That would be interesting. Ah, okay, okay. Oh dear. Blame me for that. You know, I wouldn't be surprised to do something stupid like that. I have done that before, so don't yeah. don't feel bad that if you ever do it. Yeah. I have shared the link to get into the back of this show instead Did of someone... the link to watch it. All oh, right. Uh, that would have been and then fun. Thought, would... Oh, oh, what have I done? And I went back and deleted it, and luckily no one had caught on to it before oh, um, right. I deleted it. Well, if they did, they had no interest in coming into the into uh, the uh, the the green room. That's what they call it, the green room. Drink and draw, or what? Do you remember? Uh, it was a drink and draw. Yeah. Yeah. I was fully expecting strangers to pop up. <laughs> There's enough strange people on the show without any more. <laughs> Wish I had enough room to put this here so you could see what I was drawing from at the same time. Um, but there's just not enough. You probably room. have if you draw a bit lower. No, nah, it'll be in your way. You, for, your camera's. Uh, your oh. camera's. Yeah, as long as you can still, it's a good spot yeah. for you. I don't know what yeah. you've got there. If the book will slide down or not. No, nah, that'll be. It might be all right. Yep. So you can see some of it anyway. Uh, yeah, so that's about there. Oh, uh, also, uh, Jackie, that comment about going down to Adelaide. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to excuse you for not then coming up to Brisbane afterwards. Sorry. <laughs> <Don't do it. laughs> Maybe mm. I'll forgive you and invite you onto a drink and draw after all. Who knows? Maybe all this time I haven't been running on because I'm bitter, a bitter old man. He is very and you bitter. You keep not coming to Brisbane, and I'm just taking it personally. <laughs> Ask Kerry. I cried myself to sleep last night, sobbing about mm. Jackie. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> See, Kerry just says true. Ah, oh, there you go. She had to put up with it. <laughs> she would have heard it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? No. No, Kerry said you don't know what she puts up with once that camera's off. <laughs> yeah, <I bet. laughs> oh, look at him with his excuses. I was at another yeah. con. Ah, yeah, right. Like any other con that I'm not at matters. Yeah, that's Come right. on. <laughs> that's right. Get these furrow in of his brow. It's good how he uh, gets that look of fear in his face, isn't it? That's what yeah, I'm there's a bit. Get 
It's, it's very subtle actually. though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. The mm. fact that he's got goggles on, he's got to try and still show that in the eyes. I think the eyes are what really... Yeah, probably because he's got them almost full like that. Shows that he's... You can see the whites of his eyes. He's scared. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just... I'm looking for a group that hopefully I won't get kicked out of for, just for sharing it. What do you reckon, Dave? We take the risk? Yeah, take it, mate. Yeah, do it. I like it. I like the way you think. It's like, yeah, no <laughs> risk. Do it, sis. <laughs> it's just your, your um, neck, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. No, I might cool. just do this pretty rough with the pencil and then um, get into the ink fairly quick tonight. So if I can do that inked, drawn and inked into one show. I wasn't too sure what I was going to do tonight. I remember last week we said, oh, I, I said, oh, maybe Joe Cubit or someone like that. But I didn't have a clue what I was yeah. going to draw. So I was looking through the, his, my Joe Cubit books that I've got, comics and uh, just uh, what do I want? Couldn't really find anything, but I, I do. This is a good picture. I like the one you've chosen. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is. I really. When I saw this one. I thought, oh yeah, I'd like. I like that bloke's face and that. Um, and mm. I thought, well, that should be. I should be able to do that in, in an hour. I'm pretty close to it. I think they've changed their name. The oh, group the that I know is really big, but it's um. I oh, know this might be it. Oh no, it says I haven't joined yet. Oh, <laughs> that might be hard then. So that wouldn't be the one. Oh right. Either I have. Oh maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe I advertised one of the shows in it already, and I got booted. Maybe oh, that'd yeah. be classic. That would be hilarious. That'd yeah, be hilarious, that'd be, Dave. That would be, uh, yes. Uh, they've put you on the blacklist, mate. Oh, I missed this one. Nick just said, keep it clean, Kerry. So I don't know what he was referring to. What goes on in bed, perhaps? What goes on, he has to, she has to put up with all night. <laughs> <laughs> Well, she's saying, don't make her come over there, Nick. Mr. <laughs> May. Yes. I seriously think I've been kicked out of that group, which the only reason I can think of that would happen is advertising these shows. Oh, that's pretty. That cracks me up. Australian group or is it a... No, some, some have really strict rules and sometimes I take the time to read the rules. Sometimes I don't take oh, the time yeah, to read the yeah. rules. Yeah. Actually, no, no. I'm the one I am looking for is sponsored, and this one is not sponsored by anyone. Okay. I'll keep really be really boring and talk about Facebook groups. Yeah, that's a really. I'm sure that'll get the viewers. Yeah, very stimulating conversation. I don't know. They'd probably change the name of the bloody group. It's a big group, and I'm sure they were letting me do this, advertise our streams. I was allowed to advertise one stream a week. So I picked oh, yeah. Dave this week. Dave. Yeah. Oh, well. And I can't find the damn group. So <laughs> Did you There's like 20,000 people in it, so it'd be perfect. Wow. wow. Yeah. So I talked, to, I talked to the admins, and I asked them, so that's why I thought it was weird that I'd been kicked out. But Yeah, right, yeah. But yeah, the group I just found was not one I've been a member of ever. 
Yeah. I didn't recognize the pictures that were in it. Oh. Kerry may keep it clean, Nick may, but I will not. Who's that? Oh, you. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Dave will keep it clean, but I will not. <laughs> Dave's a gentleman. Oh, I am yeah. a ruffian. A scallywag. A bit of a larrikin, mate. Yes. The thing about Joe Cubitt, he does a lot of um, like. It's probably why I like his stuff so much. He does. He's old school. He does a lot of um, hatching and cross hatching and that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. I might have to do one of these older artists as well. At the moment, I'm getting all new art and copying it. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh. reproducing it. We'll call it reproducing it. We won't call it copying it. Mm. Reproducing in our own style. There we go. Even better. <laughs> yeah. Call a spade a spade, mate. Yeah, bloody <laughs> copy and all right. <laughs> uh, Call a spade a shovel. <laughs> Let you copy him. Uh, this is his fur coat here, or the, the, the fur, his leather coat uh, with uh, fur lining or wool lining. Mm. So I bet you got cold up there. Yes. Um, uh, have you ever been to Australian War Memorial? Have I? Yeah. Oh, you probably have haven't because you haven't been south of Sydney, have you? Yeah, I've never been south of Sydney. I yeah. went to a memorial in um, like just a local type one, a small museum one. type thing. A yeah. museum, yeah, that's what it was. Sorry, not a memorial, a museum, and it had some really cool information about stuff like that. Yeah. Um, what town was it? It was somewhere near Brisbane. Yeah, um, I can't remember now. It was, it was like out. Like right out. It took us about an hour to drive out there. Oh right, yep, yep. Um, but it was still technically Brisbane, I think. Yeah, so I think it was just traffic. Um, so maybe it was less than an hour. Because Brisbane's not that big. In um, oh, depends who you talk to. Actually, some people can consider Caboolture part of Brisbane, which is not accurate. Oh okay, Caboolture. Yeah, and Ipswich. Some people consider Ipswich part of Brisbane, which is ridiculous. Oh, right, yeah. It's a fair way out, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's right, it is. It's its own district. It's it's it, Yeah, they call it Brisbane's odd. Yeah. I've got this here, I think. Oh, it might be the right. might be right. I thought it might. This bit here looks a bit long, but I'm not going to worry about it. Copying, I mean, reproducing in your own style, Dave. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I might put the text box in. We might see if we can get the, uh, the lettering done as well. All right, now, drawing planes is not easy. Especially those old planes. Yeah, two wing. I, uh, I used to be obsessed planes. with drawing F 19s, I think they were. Oh, yeah. When I was um, little. Yep. Um, I never drew them well because they were hard to draw, but I was obsessed. Only F because they reminded me of the planes from Robotech. Oh, okay. So it wasn't like yes. I liked the planes, it's just because they reminded me of a cartoon I liked. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. F nineteen, F eighteen. Oh, maybe it was F eighteen. I might be remembering it wrong. Yeah, the Hornet. Hmm. Australian Hornet. So is that where where did you they're in Newcastle? They're the ones you're talking about? Uh, I'm not really I just drew like um from because I used to collect models of planes. Yeah, yeah. A lot of 
of them were most of them were the old uh, propeller ones. But yeah. um, as I got older, I started collecting uh, planes. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, a lot of lots. I know a lot of. Well, I did, and a lot of a few of my friends did the same when I was a kid. Made model yeah, I planes. Loved it. Yeah, it was good. I loved it. You know, good. getting the little files, taking off the tiny little bits that make all the difference when you put it together, and yeah. then painting her up. And I was pretty bad at painting them up, but I gave it my best shot. Yeah, yeah. Well, you would have just been Putting doing the stickers it on that. straight, which I wasn't good at either. Well, sometimes you leave them in the water too long, and they'd start falling the bits when you. Yeah. And they break when you um, um, put them on. Mm. Yeah, no, I had a lot of fun doing that too. I used to make uh, ships, planes, and tanks. Oh, tanks. That would have been cool. I yeah. think I was just planes. I think I was just planes. I was obsessed with planes. All oh, right. Um, but I had a lot of Matchbox cars. And. Well, not a lot, but I, any I could get my hands on, I had. Um, not necessarily oh, match, matchbox, just that size. Right. Yeah. Look at this. Cheap he's got, versions. he's got the the face of the pilot. He's in. This is the, the cockpit. The this is yep. the room of the cockpit. This he, it here. That's his jacket, and this is inside. Then that goes back to the tail plane, uh, and the tail fin, and the tail plane. And there's the bottom of the aircraft here. Oh, wow. Uh, and he's got the... He's a German, this bloke, so he's got a cross on there. Because enemy ace. Can you believe that? The American comic was... The star of it was a German. Oh. Uh, yeah. So, pretty um, radical. But he wasn't a Nazi. This is World War One. So oh, ah, yeah. They weren't glorifying Nazis. I think it was quite a, an anti-war sort of a comic, from what I've read. Mm. Not like another comic I used to read a lot of was Sergeant Rock, and that was more, oh, a bit more fanciful and probably a bit more glorification. Uh, well, maybe not glorification of war, but. It was, uh, I don't know, maybe not. Hey, what's that? What's that doing? Put that in the wrong spot. Oh, yeah. That's not right. I'm glad you realised that. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot thinner, the version he's got. Yeah, it comes down here. Up here. Like that. That's better. Isn't it? So this plane here can go bigger. Just put the lasso around it and drag it over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice. Can't do that. Sorry. <laughs> When you're doing these things, it's can't get. Don't worry too much about the detail. Just sort of get the gist of the thing, the idea, and leave it at that. You know, this is just a couple of strokes of the pencil. Hmm. Well, this episode's just pencils. Um, inks are next week, peoples. Well, I'm not trying ink it today. Unless you you're want to oh, well, fancy. How, how are we going? We're at the 25 minute mark. So, how do you reckon? Yeah, I'll be able to slap some ink down on this today. Oh, tonight. you machine. That's what I thought when I saw this panel. I thought, oh, I should be able to do that in a. In a it's an enemy ace. In that's a, correct. Yeah. I don't know when that comment came up. Is I wasn't watching what I meant to. Uh, yeah. Here's the, that's the enemy ace, here. Yeah. This is uh, actually not the enemy ace. This is one of his co-pilots. But there, there's the enemy ace there on the front. He's got this big, long streamer. He looks like he's riding a, a flying a, um, 
triplane there. Oh, wow. But most of it, I think, is just in a biplane. Anyway, there we go. I'll um, start putting some ink on that now. Oh, hang on, I'll just put that cross in and give me an idea. Now you're just showing off. <laughs> and uh, it says, what's he got there? But, yeah. Oh, you put yeah. in the words in. Nice. Yeah. Moment. Carl saw over his shoulder four spads. Okay. Spads are the type of aircraft. Oh. Descending. My oh God, Dave, from I'm a member of way too many groups. The clouds. I've read these stories, but um, it was a long time ago, and I. Oh, okay. Um, I just can't. Uh, it looks like that's an in inverted mm -hmm. comma, so someone must be telling the story. All right. Oh. All right, now I've got a new pen here I want to try. It's one of these. Ooh. It's called a, what's it called? A foo, foos, foos brush or something. It's a brush pen. I was going to say, I think I remember you mentioning one of these a while back. Yeah. Well, this is a brand newy, so I want to give it a crack and see how it goes. Cool. So, because it's a brush You're a great pen. Great man, you? trying something new on live. <laughs> Dave doesn't mess around, people. Dave does not mess around. All right. I have to just move this around a little bit. It's got a very fine point when you want it to, and it goes very thick if you're not careful. You see what I'm doing? Yep. You tell me if I'm not in camera, mate. You're in camera. It's all good. Do a better job than you did last week. I can't guarantee that. <laughs> I drift off and daydream a lot. Mm. Uh, oh, you're only just in camera now. Right, so this is big stuff here. That's he's got a. I think that's uh, sort of dark fur on his helmet, flying okay. helmet. See how quick this covers the ground. That's why I'm thinking I can do this in an hour with a big thick brush, and I haven't got to worry about dipping into ink wells or anything like that so it's just a matter of keep yeah keep the brush moving so you're getting used to it pretty quickly um yeah it's um you know i do a lot with the brush anyway so um okay i just was wondering if it acted the same that's all yeah it, it's pretty much the same same yeah. yeah and just to prove i i never listen yes um four spedsies what did i miss there that was three minutes ago <laughs> oh wow i gotta pay more attention um speaking of paying attention who's this artist again uh joe cubit joe cubit joe cubit I know that name how could i forget that well there's he's got a couple of sons that are big in the um yeah, that's why I know the last name as well. But I, I do know the first name. Yep. And I just 
I must have drifted off and started daydreaming about other things. Yeah, well, don't worry. We've all been there. There's a couple of things here. I might do those with a pen later on if I remember to come back. He, uh, Joe Cubitt opened a comic artist school in America. That's why I know it. He's got the Cubitt School. Yes. I remember seeing that in ads in um, comics when I was a kid going, I want to go there. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Well, he's died. He passed away, so it's his sons are running it now, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I wish there was something like that in Australia. Yeah. The scary part about that is I'll probably try to find a way to go to it, even though I have a lot of other things to do. Mm, yeah. Don't tell Kerry. <laughs> yeah. She might notice when you're not around at tea time, <laughs> mate. <laughs> If I was smart, oh, I might do the fine lines first and then come back with this. But oh, would you use the fine lines using that pen? Oh, you're off camera. Sorry, by the way. Oh, right. So I was listening to you rather than watching you. Yeah. That's all right. Um, what was I saying? Using a small brush, more pen. Yeah, I usually when I normally my my when I my process would be to ink everything with a small pen, go around the outline and all that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, with a small pen, as ink as much, and then come back and doing the the thick and heavy bits with the brush afterwards yep that's my normal process but anyway it's good to try something different yeah experiment with your tried and yeah. true techniques on a live stream i love it <laughs> we have to call you yeah. dave man of adventure <laughs> well, I might. This might might turn out to be a better way of working, and I might take it up. Ah, yes. You never know. Um, if this is true, Nick, that's freaking amazing. Joe Cubitt could draw with both hands at the same time. Wow, wow, geez. If that's true, holy cow! Yeah, man, one's enough for me. I'm keeping up with that. <laughs> I could never draw with my left hand. Oh, the mess it would make. Remember, I don't know if you remember, but we had, had a drink and draw. We were drawing, I can't remember if it was the Vikings or what we were drawing, um, but Danny Zemp drew, sent in some drawings. He was watching, yep. and he did the goats because he owns goats, and he can draw... I don't think he can do it both at the same time, but he can draw left and right-handed, so he's ambidextrous. Oh, okay. Wow. That's impressive. Yeah. yeah. He's, um, what is he? Swiss, I think. Swiss, but he lives in, um, up in the Dandenongs or up that way, I think, of Sydney, uh, Melbourne. Very talented cartoonist. Hmm. I reckon you've captured the eyes, even though they haven't inked both of them yet. But oh, okay. Just um, that subtle fear.
Yes, uh, Danny's a very good artist and cartoonist. He does a lot of caricatures. He's in the Australian Cartoon Association. Oh, okay. Yes, but he's got a hobby, or I guess it's a hobby farm with um, goats running around everywhere. So a lot of his cartoons and that revolve around the goats. <laughs> you met What's a lot of people. Right? <laughs> yeah. Um, I think they provide a lot of uh, food for his cartoons because of the antics they get up to. Oh, yeah. Um, you, you said you met a lot of people at um, the Brisbane Supernova. It was interesting hearing you go when I listened to your um, little uh, show rant that you had today. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned all, everyone you caught up with and met. I might have missed a few, but that was that were the ones I remembered. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's hard to unless you've got a list in front of you. It's hard to do it off the cuff. Yeah. Well, I wrote the list down. Oh, you did. <laughs> yeah, I would have forgotten like half oh. the people if I had just tried to remember off the top of my head. Yeah. Because remembering one person triggers someone else, and then that yep. triggers someone else, and I miss about five people in between. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. If I had to try to do it from memory, I reckon it would have been a five-second list. Of people. <laughs> list, yeah, would have missed. Like, yeah, I ran, who did I run into again? Oh, yeah. yeah. But no, I wrote them all down to make sure I actually mentioned them all. I didn't write down what we talked about and all that sort of stuff. There's little anecdotes I said about each of them, but I just wrote down their names. How'd you get on with the twins? Oh, they're awesome. Aren't they? Aren't they similar? Oh, uh, I kept mixing them up. Kerry well, could did. tell the difference, like, from straight away, but I kept mixing up. Even when they had different shirts on, I kept mixing them up. So I wasn't I wasn't remembering which shirt was which. So I'd be like, yeah, Martin. Uh, I think they're used to it. you, isn't I it? Think, and I, was, I, I was talking to one for about um, 20 minutes. The other yeah. brother came back, and then they sort of moved around behind the table. And then I was like, shit, I don't know which one I was talking to. <laughs> and I, I'm like looking at one of them going trying to get hints like physical like are oh, you off the page again sorry uh. um trying to get like physical cues that I was talking to the right one and I was getting yeah. nothing I'm sure no, they did it on purpose <laughs> but yeah they're a lot of fun a lot yeah, of fun nice nice blokes yeah Ben Sullivan's just popped on, or oh, yeah. it, just commented. How are you going, mate? Yeah, he's um. Hi guys, looking good. Dave, how do you go with nib pens? Nib, yeah, I do a lot of work with um, nibs. Um, ben, yeah, no. Uh, the thing I find with the uh, nibs, a very important thing is you make sure the ink is the right consistency. If it gets too thick. It won't come off your nib. No, like today I was doing some work. I have the same problem when I'm working with a brush. It'll glob on the brush if it's too thick. And and that it'll get thick if you leave the lid off your ink well. Um, it it evaporates. And um, that's when you'll start to get ink not coming off your nib very well. And you won't get it coming off your brush very well. So you got to, if it starts um, not flowing off your nib, it's because it needs a little bit of moisture. You know, so I've got an eyedropper there where I can drop um, water into the inkwell. Dave knows all the tricks. Yeah, well, I use them a lot. I use um, nibs and brush. Ink, Indian ink, a lot. That's my main go-to. Uh, I use an eyedropper as well, Dave. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it it gives me the color on the page. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Traditional scares right. the heart of me, so I'll stick to my um, digital things. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, so yeah, I do a lot of lot of work with the um, nibs. I've got a um, Gillet 303 is the main one I go for, and because it's quite flexible, you can get a lot of for variation in your line width. And I like that's what I like uh, a nice cursive sort of line, a lot of variation. It's sort of like a steel one of these. And it, you can get thin and thick with the nib, with the 303. Quite flexible. Mm -hmm. You're adapting to this new device very quickly, I'm noticing. Yes, well, yeah, like I said, it's sort of, you know, it's just a brush, really. And I use a brush a lot. Oh, it's a very um, simple sort of brush. Yeah. Yeah, it's hold its point better, and this is really good because you don't have to worry about the um, uh, what don't you have to worry about dipping it in the nib in the ink all the time, you just keep working away. His nibs, a eh, Nick May, I don't know what you're trying to say there. <laughs> What's he saying? His nibs. His nibs? I'll show you. There's the exact words. His nibs. nibs. <laughs> That's like... His nibs is like a... Um, uh, what's it mean? It's a. It's an old saying, his nibs. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's sort of like... Uh, well, it's sort of like... Mr. You, oh, okay. You're referring to someone... Nick might be able to tell me exactly what explain. What you're to. like Dave's grandpa's age, so you'll be able to tell us. <laughs> he, he's actually 10 years younger than me, so you might not <laughs> appreciate that comment. <laughs> <laughs> this here is around the uh, cockpit and it's a, i okay. think they used to put leather a roll of leather to protect it so you when you're getting in and out of the cockpit you didn't s knock skin off knock any bark off oh. so this that makes a lot of sense actually yeah oh that's what i was going to say before um at the australian war memorial they've got um the flying suit of um the red baron oh no way yep and his flying boots because you know, no. Red Baron was shot down by an Australian. I didn't know that. Yeah, uh, it wasn't uh, as a machine gunner on the ground shot him down. Okay. Um, someone Popkin, I think his name was. There was about three of, three or four different um, anti-aircraft machine gunners shooting at him at the time. So, but they eventually worked it out by the way that he um, the angle that the bullets went into the body and all that sort of stuff they could work out sort of um uh, i'm just taking your drawing off the page sorry uh with the thing his nibs a facetious way of talking about someone who thinks they're important yeah right yeah yep gotcha yep because i've heard it before you know he's talking about his nibs here yeah. The pommies say it a lot in the old pommy show. Oh, okay. And, you know, we are basically pom. We've got our pommy uh, heritage, so we, we adopt, we've we got a lot of their slang in our... Makes language. sense. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to try the old ruler trick here. Oh, so yeah, yeah, see that works with this. Straight lines. This has got, I've got to find the right spot to rest this. Because it's got a lot of different... I'm scared for you, Dave. I'm 
Dante, we'll do them all while we're here. I wonder if this method will work on the iPad. I'm going to give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been able to figure out how to get a straight line in the software, so <laughs> I haven't yet. <laughs> I'll use the ruler. God damn it. Oh, you're way off the page now, but I think you probably uh, need to be. Yeah. Looks like there's a slight. Cool. I don't know if that. You're off the uh, page, but I didn't think I'd interrupt you while you were doing that. Oh, line. okay. I'm back on there now. Yeah. You're fine now. I shouldn't. I'll just while I've got the rule, I'll do these two lines here. And the the cross on the tail plane. Tail fin, whatever it is. It's a bit harder than the brush because the brush has just got a straight ferrule going up there, whereas this mm -hmm. has got all these different little Indians. Yes, I was going to say, they're catching in the grooves, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. I, I could see you're having a few issues there. Yeah. I'm going to parallel with that one. No, ah, it slipped out of it. It's all right. It's okay, you'll be calling that in later, so it's all good. Yeah, we'll color that in black. So you made the there. right type of mistake. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if you're going to do it, get it <laughs> do it right. Make a mistake, do it right, eh? <laughs> yeah, do it right. All right, that's... Uh, One of these half um, mistakes. I'll just do this by hand. There's another. That's actually part of the round deal. Uh, okay. Oh, well, there you go. Nick mm -hmm. May says uh, he's pretty sure mm -hmm. Madonna wants Dave to get into the groove. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she would. On camera here. Oh, yeah, there we go. A bit of fuzz up there. Um, there's another line there that I didn't do. All right, I'll do this just for practice. I'll do it with this. I've got some pens there to be better to do it with, but this is good practice. Forcing yourself to use the new device, nice. Yeah. Thanks, Marty. He says, good evening to us both, but also glad I had fun at Supernova. I'm glad uh, I had fun at Supernova too. Yeah, g'day, Marty. Oh, those blokes get around, Marty and um, Manny, because uh, they go to Adelaide, Melbourne, Brisbane. They're all over the place. Oh, I think I'll need me pen to do those. Uh, 
and I'll do them with a brush. Bit of a, you just got to sort of indicate where the, what that that's the engine in there. Oh, yeah. And then you just do the struts for the wheels. Are you finding you need to change any techniques to use this um, pen thing? No. No. There it is. No. No. It's all the same. No. It's all the same here. Yeah. I find that if I ink with a brush, I can get more done. Um, get it done quicker. I mean, that's okay. what I mean. By more done, I mean, yeah, in a in amount of time, I'll get more ground covered, more paper, more lines down. Just out of curiosity, to avoid like our smudges and so forth. Yep. Is it normal to work left to right to if you're right-handed? Yeah, that's right. So that you're not putting your hand over top of old ink. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna try and do is work left to right for me. Mm -hmm. Right to left for left-handers. But sure enough, you'll forget. <laughs> <laughs> I forget all the time. Oh, not all the time, but you know, it happens. Yeah. You just think, oh, I'll just do that bit, and then you go back over here, then oh, and then you're like this, and you're going, oh, what's all these ink marks doing all over the place? <laughs> <laughs> so that normally is. Oh, what were you going to say? I said it's effect. It's all. It's all effect. Yeah. It's all on <laughs> That's right. It's, it's all planned out. The yeah. smudges are planned, damn it. See the graphite <laughs> coming off on me? This is a, although that looks like a smudge of ink. Oh. We'll make that it's flat. Me. You know flat? <laughs> you know what oh, I mean? That's... Anti aircraft mm -hmm. fire. Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> we'll say that's a cloud. I was trying thing. to think of the word. I was trying to think of the word. Yeah. Always a pleasure to watch you work, Dave. Uh -huh. Thanks, mate. Hey, did you get a parcel today? Funny you should say that. It got here about two or three hours ago. Yeah, right. Yeah. I haven't yeah. opened it yet, but yes, I yeah. got it. I mean, I was meant to mention it when I saw you before the show started. Yeah. Oh, oh there's a birthday present in there for you. Chris. Birthday present in there for you. There is? Yeah. You don't have to open it now. Tomorrow's your birthday, isn't it? Yeah, I was going to say I won't open it now. Yeah, I'll open it tomorrow. <laughs> I know there's stock in there, but I, I don't know what the birthday present is. I'm looking forward to this now. Oh, Got to look after the sis. You're a good man, Dave. You're a good man. <laughs> you might. <laughs> you know, it might be ticking bomb, mate. <laughs> oh, damn it. You give me a glitter bomb, haven't you? <laughs> damn glitter bombs. This um, brush is not laying the ink down as quick as I'd like because that, see, um, it's yeah, a smudge it's really easily. It's like dry brush. Um, if you've got a, a brush, a proper brush and ink, it'll come out stronger than that. It won't be that dry brush effect. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you were speaking about that last week, actually, the dry brush effect. Yeah. yeah. I don't want that here at the moment. I want to. A nice sharp line, but I'm not getting it. Just doesn't come off the um, out of the bristles quick enough. It seems. 
<laughs> Marty Wells says, "Let's play what's in what's in the box." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll do a sizzle rant tomorrow. Opening the box. I'll just check with you, Dave. You haven't given me anything inappropriate, have you? <laughs> <laughs> just before I do a live video, I'm just checking. <laughs> yeah. No, you can trust me, mate. You can trust me. Yeah. You're the last person I think would do that. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay, well, I'll do the rest of these with the pen. With the other pen um, i've got these pens for this these are these put out a nice black line oh, okay i've actually i don't normally use these but i've been using them a bit in the latest comic i'm working on so um, yeah you used you know, just pens quite good. on one of the episodes if i remember correctly i did um I think it was you. <laughs> these these pens. Yeah, just just you didn't use a brush. You used just pens to see what were you doing yeah. to, to see what it was like. I think just experiment. That might have been like you uh, are with this new thing that you've got the brush yeah, pen. Thing. That might have been the uh, first one I did with um, um, Jack Jack Kirby. One was mm. it? Yeah. Oh, what I was going to show you before is this. You know, I've got all these smudges coming off from the graphite. I always, oh yeah, I've just always got that with because it's a HB. It's quite soft. Yeah, I always got that. No, it was the Sam Keith one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's one you just used pens on. You didn't use a brush. Oh right. Just to I see used a brush at like. the end when I was doing the the big yeah, black. At the end. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm sort of getting this done now. Yeah, I like how you experiment on the live show. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to do that, Marty. If that's a possible thing, please instruct me on how it's done. What's that, mate? Doing a live on YouTube, but only subscribers can see it. I'm really curious if that's actually a thing. Oh, okay. That would be a pretty cool thing to be able to do. Would that be for Patreon and that sort of thing, would it? Um, it sounds sort of like Patreon, just you don't get paid for it. <laughs> no, right. you, can't, you can't get money out of YouTube until you have a certain number of subs and a certain number of views and a certain number of this and a certain number of that. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. yeah. Let's get a smaller pen here to do this. The hatching. first level would be something similar to that, actually. But you can't get ad revenue until you have over a thousand subs. Oh yeah, yeah. You got that yet? We're at about three hundred and something, so no, not quite there. No, not quite yet. Yeah. Um, I'm not playing the YouTube game so well. I'm more just trying to make cool stuff about Australian creators. Yeah, yeah. No, it's good of you, mate. We appreciate I'm trying it. To, trying to do at least a little bit of the youtube stuff to try to get the numbers up but um mm -hmm. i concentrate more on stuff like this you know showing what what you do showing how you do it um showing what i'm uh, having some fun with a bunch of artists together on drink and draw that sort of thing yeah um cre oh, and, and promoting each person stuff like that that's yeah. it, it doesn't help the algorithm as much as other things would but yeah. that's not what i'm here for yeah yeah Got to get those Bow brothers on the show, on the drink and draw. Yeah, I, you boys, I, if you're watching. I think I invited them. No, I was going to, and then I um, got busy talking to someone else. Oh, okay. Well, but I'm going to them. anyway. I'm still going to invite yeah. them. There's a certain show I want them on. All right. Actually, I'll write that down now. I'll take Kerry's advice. <laughs> Good on you, Kerry. You keep an eye on him and <laughs> keep, him on the, keep him honest. 
<laughs> there are certain people, the Bow Brothers were one of them, people who haven't really been on the um, shows much. Um, yeah. Oh, that, that, what was his name? Dragon. Oh, Dragon would be good. There was a reason he, well, he was having trouble. I'll have to talk to him again because I've forgotten what he was having troubles with. Mm. It might have been a camera or a microphone. I can't remember. Oh, right. Yeah. Bloody technology. It's great. Yeah, bloody really. technology. What is the problem? Um, there's a few people I've been really wanting to get on the show since day one. And yeah. technology seems to have been the problem the whole time. If yeah. they're telling the truth, you know who you are. <laughs> Um, ah, I'm getting through it. There was someone else. Damn it. I gotta write things down more often. Mm, oh, so I'm just waiting for Kerry to correct. Don't write them on your leg or your back of your hand or your palm, mate, because you lose it. <laughs> had, a, had a plumber well, come around. You're just going a little bit off the camera there, dude. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, I'll just tattoo it everywhere, like Memento. Yeah. Have you seen that movie? Yeah. No, but like, <laughs> I reckon that'd work. He couldn't. Rem <laughs> he can't remember things for more than like 20 seconds or something. So he has yeah. to tattoo all the clues to his um, wife's killer on his body, so he can remember what he's learnt so far. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that when you're cheating in an exam because then they'll have the evidence for sure, mate, that you've been there. <laughs> if they catch you, you've got to be able to wash it off if you have to. Yeah, I'll have to wash a ball pen and hope I don't sweat. I had a, um, we were getting our roof quotes to get our roof or gutters fixed or something. We got a plumber around to yep. um, give us some quote, give us a quote. And he was writing everything on his legs, went in biro, <laughs> you know, the measurements and all this. And I'm going, yeah, you got some paper, mate? You'll be right. He said, oh, no, I just come from another job and I didn't have paper there either. And they're on the left leg, you're on the right leg. So, okay, <laughs> good. And you know what? I think he wrote our telephone number down there as well because this was back in the 90s. And oh, yeah. um, we never heard from him. So I'm guessing that. It all washed off. He went home and had a bath or something and forgot all about it. And oh, washed no. them all off. And it was all for nothing. He never cut. We never got the quote. He spent, he was there for an hour or so or more probably. And it was all for nothing. Wasted his time, know. wasted our time. Just because he wasn't organized. Yeah. So. All right. We got some. Are you online? Yep, I'm visible. Yep, yep, you're on. It's all good. Can you hear that? Yeah, I can hear something. I can't quite make out what it is. Oh, okay, it's the TV. Oh, okay. All good. Background noises are totally allowed here. Yeah, I can't get up and turn it off. Sorry. <laughs> Looking good. Looking good. That. Got most of that there done. Plane's pretty good. That's how do you time this so well? Oh, right, just about. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to draw this picture, and it's going to take an hour, I reckon. And next thing you know, it's an hour. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, I don't know. I just thought this one looks like a fairly simple. Uh, you know, there's not a lot on there. Hmm. It's pretty. Um, Pretty straightforward sort of a picture, really. It's just got this really nice depth. With so much in it, you know, it goes from the cockpit, the pilot, right back to them. I like that. 
I'm not going to be able to do the checkers, the checkered bit. This uh, here that that's on the plane. Oh, yeah. Well, I might be able to, but we'll see. We, I won't do that at the moment. Save that for later. This is the roundel on the side of the plane. I don't know how he comes up with this, you know, that Joe Cubitt, he, he was a great artist. Mm. You know. They come up with these great angles to draw these things at. Look, nearly offline, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I wasn't doing my job. I could see some of it, so I was being amused by that. And I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah. Sacked. Sacked. No, so right. I'll take over. Come on. I'll give you <laughs> the link. <laughs> All right. I may have given it out already. He's done a fancy gothic lettering there, but I won't do that. But, comma. That. That. At that moment, Carl saw over his shoulder. Full so the question is, Dave? Yep. Is it a good movie? Which one? That we're listening to in the background. <laughs> in the next room. It's actually not in this room. It's in the, in the next room. As long as it's a good movie, we can like yeah, I'm can sure it's good. filter you yeah. out, and filter me out, and listen to the movie. <laughs> we just send it up as an extra post. You might get copyright um, issues. <laughs> There is two rooms in this place. There is the kitchen slash lounge room slash dining room, and there is the bedroom. Oh, oh right. I'm sorry, there's three rooms. There's also the bathroom. Bathroom. All right. No. No, no, I'm, I'm giving Dave grief. I'm just giving Dave grief. It's all in fun. All in fun. <laughs> All right, and how are we going for time? Ah, uh, yeah, minutes nine over, minutes right? late. <laughs> right. Are oh, you off the page, by the way? You're off the page. Um, so I'm gonna, I'll do. Just do a rough representation of these. Mm -hmm. This checker pattern. There we go, and black this one. Yeah. And I'll just uh, do my little thing. 
Yeah. Um, I've just noticed there's a few new people watching. So if you guys or girls could uh, subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome. Um, to everyone watching, it'd be great if you could like the video. It really helps the algorithm and helps us make more content. Um, and share. Share the video around. Let other people see the cool stuff that Dave gets up to. Um, so, yeah. And right. so nice like, share, subscribe. Um, Let's see if I can put a border on this panel. Hmm. Yeah. So definitely subscribe and share would be my definite most liked things to be done. So if you could do that, I'll um, be your best friend, yeah. I'll... I'll be loyal. I'll um, not do much anything else. Probably won't even remember your name. You remember it. <laughs> I'll write it down, though, and then lose the page. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put an alarm in my phone for your birthday. It's all good. Yeah, you will. <laughs> for whoever's birthday they are. So I can say happy birthday to them. Apparently, I forget. Because he cares. You certainly would. Oops. Slipped off then. Cool. Oops. Slipped off again. Oh, no. oh is, that the, is that the grooves? Yeah. 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 Damn those grooves. All right. Well, that's it. Uh, Oh, yeah. yeah. That looks awesome, Dave. And, oh, bit of a uh, message for me there. Yes. Yeah. He's talking about birthdays. Yeah, talking about but I didn't mean to talk about birthdays because mine's tomorrow. <laughs> so there you got the That was original. unintentional. That was just me thinking, what would I put an alarm in my phone for? Oh, sure it was. <laughs> that looks awesome, Dave. Really well done. All right. Okay. Well, um, of course, you, you've still got the pencil lines and smudges all over it, but uh, yeah, um, yeah, it was fun doing that. A lot of fun. So um, yeah, we'll have a crack at something else next week. Yeah, cooking Thanks, with Nick. gas, Dave, looks awesome. Nick May. Yeah, you, you make sure you have a good birthday tomorrow, mate. I'll try. I How old are you? That's what everyone's been asking. Well. <laughs> I would need to get a calculator. I'm not sure. Oh, Kerry knows. 48. I'm turning 48. There you go. We've oh, got some right, man. Just... Nearly at the half century. Jeez. Nearly at the half century. Yeah. Oh, that'll be great, mate. I hope you got a nice cake cooked up for him, Kerry. Oh, don't you worry about that, Dave Dye. Yeah. <laughs> not only do I have a birthday cake, I have a pre-birthday cake. So I'm oh. a very, very happy little lad. You will be, mate. I got, a birthday, I got the pre-birthday cake today, and I get the birthday cake tomorrow. So You'll be twice the size the next time we see you. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think I can get much bigger, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hang on. I'll um, come back to the land of the living. Uh, see me. And there you are. G'day, Dave. Right. Yeah, here I am. I am, do exist. All right, yeah, well, thanks, everyone, and um, uh, we'll have another crack at something else next week. Yeah. That's um, fun. Do you want people to make suggestions or you just want to think about it during the week? Well, if anyone's got any suggestions, I, I sort of do, um, yeah, no, yeah, go for it, yeah. that will be you good. sure? Yeah, because I, I, that'll save me having to think of something to draw. Yeah. Okay. It's just um, going to be what, black and white inks, people. Yeah, and probably someone, someone who does really that, well at that. Yeah, someone that I, um, you know, not too off the wall. No, you know, someone I can actually find reference for and that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, I reckon uh, yeah. next week you could do a Dave Die. He's really good. You should <laughs> check out his amazing tales. Available at comics.shot and owner indie. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> All right, we better get going. It's ticking away the time. Yeah, cool. All Thanks, right, Dave. Cool, Thank you, everyone who watched. And Thanks, um, everyone. see you next week, Dave. Well, actually, I'll see you at Drink and Draw first. This Friday night? This Friday night. We're doing okay, Asterix mate. and Obelix. Yeah, that'll be good. I was big yeah, fan that'd be of fun. Them. I might yeah. even be able to draw it. Yeah, good. <laughs> Catch you later, everyone. Catch you later, Dave. See yeah, see you, mate. See you, everyone. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.